Blastoise, I don't know why that in between's not working. There we go. Yeah, it's been having problems. Okay. All so right. Blastoise versus Gardevoir. Thoughts, Queen? Okay, so Moonblast beats out all of all the zoning options that Cool Jake will have. Every single option is beat out by Moonblast. Okay. And I think most for and forward wide will go through most things as well. Um, in field, uh, Blastoise is going to have a lot of trouble. Duel, a little bit better. Uh, Rapid Spin will allow him to approach. It'll eat that 2x projectile that normally counter pierces. And right. that 8 Y goes a little too far. Ooh! <laughs> does get the wall splat. Over 25% of Utah's health is gone just in that single move. That was a lovely Or single counter. string. All right, Utah applying a lot of pressure once again. That is punishable with grab, so he is going to get a nice little chunk of damage off. Does get burst activated for himself. Or synergy gauge full. That's what I'm saying. All right, let's... Oh. That was a wonderful counter. Yeah, he saw the rapid spin coming out. He prepped himself accordingly, and that was really, really smart of him. Oh! oh. CDC not going to work. Great. And just a lot of... Uh, Spaghetti of CADC and trying to grab. <laughs> well, I mean, we, we saw a lot of different approach options from Cool Jake. He only has so many tools to try and work him his way in. Now, personally, I think that Blastoise has a lot of interesting things that he can do if you use mind games well enough to get in on him. Or, like, to get in on Utah. Oh, oh no. beautiful quick grab that at mid-range, not versus Blastoise. <laughs> he has a few too many options to stop any sort of CAs. Oh, that is almost, that this is almost a perfect, this is a perfect Cool Jake brings it back dominantly against Utah. That was absolutely insane. And that uh, rush room support that he's actually using was a suggestion from back at EVO because it, it counter pierces, which will stop the rapid spin approaches. Right, which you, we're seeing he's not really using it. Um, I think he's being a little protective of it. He wants to make sure he uses it for the right moment. And that's still smart, you know? Giving yourself the opportunity to save that support for when you really, really need it. But right now, he's, he he's really, really needs it. <laughs> oh, tried to go in for that infamous slide grab that he loves to do. And DMs. <laughs> not too sure about that uh, rush room call right there. Uh, yeah. Cool Jake didn't hit any buttons. <laughs> He's getting in closer and closer. He knows Utah's gonna panic here. Oh! There are. There was no real reason to hit that first button. I think Utah was trying to be a little preemptive, thinking, okay, if Utah, if Cool Jake's gonna burst here, I'm gonna burst right after. Get some invincibility frames to cancel out his burst. I don't think. Gardevoir has enough invul frames, so. Oh, well, in that case, uh, I, th I still think he didn't think the distance would reach him quick enough. That's the and that's why he activated burst. <laughs> now, I don't agree. I, I really don't think that the Reshiram pick, All right. the support pick, is going to be really what he wants. I feel like there are other supports that benefit him more, like this Rotom Togekiss. I think that's smart. Gives him a little bit more mix-up play. Allows him to punish Cool Jake for jumping so often, which you saw Cool Jake doing quite often, yeah, uh, quite frequently during that last match. Yeah. Um, a lot of Blastoise, I guess I suppose, like to be grounded because the bubbles are so easily popped by Guard Guard. Just about any of her moves will pop them. So and since that's a J-A... So the thing is, we didn't really see... He was semi-grounded, but you saw Cool Jake going back and forth between being aerial versus being grounded blasters. And there's a big difference Ooh, between he those. did not wait out the counter for that long enough. Ooh. Oh, that was a lovely slap. I'm not sure uh, <laughs> why Cool Jake... Uh, it's a lovely slap. Lovely slap. <laughs> Let me give you a lovely slap. He's got some delicate slap. hands. <laughs> Sounds like that could be a, a new Pokemon move, lovely slap. I mean, we have lovely kiss, so why not? Yeah, and it's a it's a normal type move, so I guess you can make it normal. But what does it do? Oh, does double damage if the Pokemon is infatuated. Could be kind of funny. Um, so Rapid Spin also does eat the two X, and that's punishable. Except not by Blastoise, apparently. <laughs> nice that catch by Cool Jake. He's gonna keep him in the air. Triple thrust. <laughs> <laughs> 
Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> oh, it is permanently there. <laughs> All right, sets himself up with the road. I'm going to make sure Cool J can't do anything from there. Oh. This is a free setup, but he drops it. That uh, was that runs. was his chance. He had... Oh, oh. Okay. Ignoring the, the grab mix. Up. Okay, this is smart. He, he may have had to activate his burst there to live, but winning that round, still really important for him. Gives him the momentum. He does have half, about a quarter of a meter of burst and synergy for himself here. So this is pretty smart. And Gordon builds it pretty quickly as long as Kyle can keep you talk to keep uh, building winning phases. Exactly. And we just saw that right then. Um, Guard of War, or Utah in this particular sense, did win that last engage, and that helped him out a lot with the synergy. Preemptive uh, counter there. Cool Jake has him against the wall. The Scary bubble situation. set up. Now, we haven't seen Cool Jake use it that often, but that. That timing was extremely crucial. Yeah, it was it was actually really, really solid from him. Got the small jump, got the bubble set up in the face. I really I really like that. Yeah. This is it. Oh! Not enough damage going up from Cool Jake just yet. I believe he said uh, waiting for uh, reverse for next round. He's sitting on it. Seeing if he can get this uh, any closer. Yeah, he does have one HP, but I mean if he can keep chipping down Cool Jake slowly. He's going to force Cool Jake to burst, which he just did. Yeah. So this is smart. Uh, I may not necessarily agree with that last. Oof. What? Oh. oh, beautiful job from cool, from Utah. And they actually, the, uh, the score I is I did not realize that that uh, JY was going to knock him out of the burst animation. Yeah, I think he did I'm it preemptively, and Cool Jake got a little antsy there, and it caught him during those startup things. <laughs> Mine? Mine? Uh oh. <laughs> Just like everybody gets. <laughs> I'm not good at directions. <laughs> it's it's all right. So we are underway onto our final match here of winner semis. Utah v Cool Jake one one in the Aqua Dome. I think that's what it's called. Another good counter to beat out that rapid spin. Yeah, he's been really solid on. Waiting for those options to come out from Cool J. Now that uh, that Dark Pulse follow up is actually a uh, counter piercer, and it did do a little bit of damage against Utah. Oh! Oh, that was a wonderful crush. Yeah, Cool Jake likes to set himself up pretty effectively uh, with his with his grabs. Oh, that, that was that was kind of smart. Cool Jake <gasps> jumping there oh. actually was really brilliant on his part. And the reason why was because he stopped any kind of other follow-up that Utah might have been trying to get there. Oh, didn't catch the vulnerable frames. Slide it in. Oh, oh, gonna activate burst smart here. But Cool Jake does have the defense buff. Oh. Now we get ourselves a wonderful. <laughs> I actually Ladies and think gentlemen, this might kill. Say it with me. Anime, anime waifu canon oh, not gonna not kill that yet. defense debuff that defense buff right. saved him i missed the buff beautiful job on the ground this may take it it does utah takes round one in game three all right cool jake does have the jirachi buff online for himself and that forward wide went straight through the uh water gun Smart from Utah, he's just kind of, well, he was zoning him out quite a bit, but he decided to go in there. Not sure if I agree with that. <gasps> what? Utah shifting up his approaches. All right, a lot of zoning going on here, stopping Cool Jake from getting he's, any of his approaches off. He's being really cautious about using Rapid Spin to approach right now. There we go. <laughs> and there was the setup from Utah as well. Rotom comes in to save the day. Gets the grab off of it. Probably trying to build up burst real quick. Yeah. Since that has been saving him the past few rounds. And you can see that Utah also has his synergy burst almost online for himself. All he needs is this phase shift. There it is. He gets the crit, uh, the uh, counter piercer. Just cool keep Jake. zoning. This, uh, this match is uh, very zone. It's supposed to be very zone heavy for Gardevoir. And this. 
tends to be challenging for uh, okay. Utah since he loves to be a close quarters uh, guard of war. All right, the synergy burst from Cool J coming out. Ooh, this oh, this is very painful. Gosh. Nine seconds still left on the clock. Here it comes. Are we going to see it? Another one comes out. This may I take the game. Ladies and gentlemen, say it with me. Adam and Waifu Cannon. Oh, six seconds left on the clock. All Utah Draw, has to do is run away. Him. Or that. <laughs> Just take him straight down. All right, Utah takes that 2-1. Very, like very close sets, all of them. I agree. I really liked that. That was really solid play from both players. I, I think.